Before going into the field to take measurements of specific conductance, you must first calibrate the EC tester. To calibrate the meter, you will need EC tester specific conductance meter, EC tester two point calibration log, distilled water, 10,000 microsiemen per centimeter solution. 1,413 microsiemen per centimeter solution, three 30 milliliter Nalgene jars, a waste tray, and a pen or a pencil. Record the date, time, and name of volunteer or individual calibrating the meter on the two-point calibration log. Unscrew the cap from the top of the meter and remove the protective cover from the bottom of the meter. Set these pieces aside. Turn on the EC tester and make sure that the tester is in measuring mode. The letters MEAS should appear at the top of the screen. If these letters do not appear, use the mode button to toggle to measuring mode. Rinse the electrode in the high standard solution of 10,000 microsiemen per centimeter. Rinse it three times in a 30 milliliter Nalgene jar and pour out the standard into the waste tray between each rinse. Fill the jar a fourth time and submerge the probe in the solution. Allow the reading on the meter to stabilize. Record the measured specific conductance reading under initial reading on the calibration log. Make sure to include the units, which can be found below the conductance reading and above the temperature. Record the temperature on the calibration log. Keep the probe in the standard solution and press the increase button to enter calibration mode. The increase and decrease buttons are located behind the batteries. When the screen on the meter is facing you, the increase button is the one to the right and the decrease button is to the left. When you press the increase button, CAL should appear on the screen. 2PNT should also flash on the screen. This means you have entered the two-point calibration process. The upper reading on the screen now displays the measured conductivity while the lower reading displays the default uncalibrated conductivity reading. If the value displayed does not match the standard solution, use the increase or decrease buttons to correct the displayed value to that of the calibration standard solution. Wait a moment to allow the meter to recognize this calibrated value. When the meter has recognized the value set, it will display CO and return to measuring mode. If the meter flashes CO before you have corrected the value and a correction was needed, you should re-enter calibration mode and retry this step. Record the measured specific conductance reading, including the units under the adjusted reading section on the calibration log. If the calibrated reading on the meter is outside the range of 9,667 to 10,333 microsiemens per centimeter, which will display as 9.6 to 10.3 millisiemens, recalibrate the meter. Rinse the probe three times with distilled water. Repeat the calibration process with the low standard 1,413 microsiemen per centimeter. If the calibrated specific conductance for this standard is outside the range of 1,366 to 1,460 microsiemens per centimeter, please recalibrate the meter. Rinse the probe liberally with distilled water over the waste tray. Rinse the probe three more times with distilled water in the 30 milliliter Nalgene jar marked DIW. Pour out the distilled water into the waste tray between each rinse. Submerge the probe a fourth time in the 30 milliliter jar of distilled water. Allow the reading to stabilize. Record the measured specific conductance reading under the distilled or deionized water section on the calibration log. This value ought to be zero. If tap water or spring water is used for this step, the reading on the meter will not be zero. 
Record the temperature displayed on the screen. You have now completed the calibration process for the EC tester. You may turn the meter off and head into the field to collect your data. If you encountered any issues during the calibration process, please contact your local coordinator or WAVE staff.